Hello and welcome to Radio Linseed, broadcasting to you in pictures from the depth of the Sussex countryside. My name is Derwin Banks, I'm a linseed farmer and this episode is going to deal with more about Joanna Woodvig and how she researched into the fats. I came across uh, Joanna Woodvig uh, in the early days when I started doing linseed and uh, what I'm going to say about her is she started, she was one of the first people to start in research into essential fats. Um, most of the professions used to think they were vitamins, so she really looked at them and obviously dis discovered uh, what they did about the cell membranes and so on and so forth. And she went around giving talks and lectures about it. And one thing that she used to say in her lectures, I'm going to relate to you because I think it's just amazing and it really puts a picture in your mind about fats. And what she used to say was, picture your heart ready to oxygenate your blood and your lungs ready to supply the oxygen. What do you think your heart was thinking, she said. Well, your heart is thinking, what sort of oil have I got for this process? And if it finds it's got nice unsaturated fat, the process works well, your blood is oxygenated and oxygen gets to the cells and that is what protects you or heals you. And then she went on to say, if your heart detects you've been eating margarine, or and I put this in, buying oven chips, or roasting your potatoes in sunflower oil, rapeseed oil or corn oil, then that's doing damage to the oil which alters its ability to help oxygenate your blood. In fact, it completely changes it. So her way of looking at it, I think, paints that wonderful picture for you so that you can see the importance of fats. Now, to move on a little bit, and just to put that in a bit of context, a little interesting story, if there's anybody here interested in the army, you might know about the Royal Army Medical Corps. They were in fact nicknamed the Linseed Lancers during the First World War. And I have one of their training manuals here. And on the very first page, the fourth paragraph, talks about the cells in the human body, how they're surrounded by other cells and not by air or water, and how they need oxygen for, in order to perform their role and able to get rid of waste. And that book was 1944, which was five or so, five or six years before Joanna Budfig was doing her research. So they did have some idea how important oxygen was for the body and also how it was important to eat the right food in order to get that. And there is a government organisation who has written that. But today, food is still being sold that kills us.